What's up, go-getter? So you're ready to pivot. You're ready to change direction for your life and business. Well, I've got a message for you. I want to let you know that it is okay. And I want to share with you some of the ways and some of the tips for doing that. Some things you should know when you're ready to change your business, your messaging, or your direction. A big, huge welcome to this channel. If you are brand new here, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Dallas Gordon, and here I talk marketing, motivation, business tips, and the spiritual stuff too. Success is an inside-out job, so I just want to give you all the gems all the gems to be able to live your best life and have so much expansion and joy in life. So if that sounds like your type of party, you know what to do. Feel free to stick around. And to my go-getter tribe, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the liking, sharing, and commenting that you do on my videos. You really, really continue to inspire me and encourage me to move forward. And you really have helped me to grow this channel. So I truly appreciate you. Now, before we get started, if this is the type of content that you love, Love. don't forget to like comment and share this video don't be selfish with this content because when you do that you really do help this channel to move forward you help me to grow this channel and help me to put this content in front of more and more people so thank you in advance for hitting that like and share button so all about pivoting now first of all how do you know when it is time to pivot so there are different reasons why people feel like they want to pivot change their messaging change their career maybe you want to quit your business and go back to work there is no judgment here maybe you are ready to leave your job behind and actually take a bet on yourself and start a business maybe it's time for you to pivot from old friendships or relationships maybe it's time for you to sell your home and move to a new state or move to a new country and start a new life pivoting and change is never easy but you will know within when you are really feeling stuck stagnant and unhappy with where you are sometimes Sometimes you're not unhappy sometimes what you're doing is working but you know that you are being called to do something else that's when it is time to move my friend it is time to move okay so my own story I am the pivot queen it is actually a running joke in my friendship circle where everybody's like I have never seen someone go from being an e-commerce powerhouse to a speaker to an author to a subscription box seller to a creative to a crafter okay to a youtuber to an influencer to a coach to a consultant I have pivoted so many times I have pivoted my messaging so many times for a long time guys I've always had a slight motivational or spiritual layer to my coaching to my speaking but I had always been holding it back now I've chosen to really let it rip and I have a very strong spiritual presence in my presence in the way that I like to share because it's who I am. So one of the reasons why you are probably being called to pivot is because you are being called to open up to the world and share with the world more of who you are because a lot of us are busy being who we think we should be and who we think other people we, we're, we're operating in a container that we think that other people would accept us being in okay so that's why we often don't open ourselves up to change okay so here are some things that I really really want for you to consider when it comes to changing your business changing your messaging changing your direction altogether number one you are not your business you are not those relationships you are not those decisions you are not that thing that you have been doing all of this time you are more so embrace that you are more I think a lot of us associate and I've done it too our identities with what we've been doing and that's why we don't up level and go to the next level and take on new things because we are associating our worth with what we've been doing there are parts of us that need to die that have died and it's time for them to be released so that the, the new birth can happen and I know in my particular situation guys there were times that like it was time for me to retire certain parts of my business because they were literally stumping my growth they were standing in the way of my growth so it was time for me to let 
those parts of my business go so that I could emerge as the real me, as the new me, okay? And release this new gift that I wanted to release to the world. So just realize you are not your gift. Your gift is great and it's something that's God-given or whatever it is that you happen to believe in, okay? But it's been given to you, right? By a higher power, right? So this isn't, but it isn't you. It's something that you do. I would go even as far as to say you are the gift, okay? But I don't want you to associate your worth with your talents because you are so much more. So that's the first thing that I want to say. Number two, there doesn't necessarily have to be a divide, okay? Um, if you have more than one direction. So to give you an example, I am a business mentor and a consultant, okay? So I do help people to expand and grow their businesses, but at the same time, I'm very motivational. I'm very much of a spiritual leader. Sometimes I get on calls and 100% my calls with clients are me tapping into them and where they are and reading them and helping them to get from point A to Z. So sometimes those breakthrough calls happen and they are 100% spiritual. Spiritual, so I get to exist, okay, and I get to move about this world being both, being all that I am and not dividing who I am. I feel like it makes you sometimes less powerful when you have to put yourself in different little buckets for different people instead of just showing up, shining your bright light and showing up in the fullness of who you are. Number three, decide once you, what you want to do and start. You're not going to know just waiting around for years and years and years, wondering, should I make the change? I really want to make the change. I'm scared to make the change. You're not going to know what happens until you start. And I know that there is a perfect time and space to start things. And one thing I do want to say as well, guys, is that this whole video is not to condone indecisiveness, never finishing what you start, quitting when it's not time for you to quit. That's not the type of video that this is. This video is for those people that need to pivot, change messaging, change direction. You know that this is time for you to make the change. This is not condoning bad habits that you need to fix in your life, okay? So decide what you want and start. Start taking baby steps or large steps, whatever you feel is aligned to move towards the direction that you want to go into. You don't have to stay married to the same lane for the rest of your life. I know some of you are feeling like a complete failure because you're really just, you've really fallen out of love with your business. You've been out of love with it for a long time. You feel like it's more like a job. You don't enjoy it. It's draining to you. It doesn't bring you life. And But you feel like a complete like failure if you let it go. Because you feel like, oh, I don't like to not finish what I start. Well, this is the finishing point. Sometimes it is time for you to do something new. And who says you have to be married to the same idea for the rest of your life? So give yourself permission to explore and try other things. It's what makes life so colorful, okay? And you never know what's on the other side for you. You never know what God is going to do in your life when you start to shift. So I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know in the comments if this has blessed you today, if this has helped you. Definitely check out the links in my description box. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, guys, at I am Dallas Gordon. And just when it's time for you to pivot, don't feel bad about it. Give yourself permission to be who you are. We change all the time and sometimes with those shifts and changes, the things around us, the people around us, the businesses around us, the decisions also have to shift. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Be blessed. I'll see you guys soon.